Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we are continuing the Let's Build Willow Creek series and we are actually building in the same name no Mona. Oh my gosh. In the same neighborhood as the um I think it's the hotel. No, not the motel. What was it that I built in this neighborhood? A bed and breakfast. Yes, this is the same neighborhood that we have the bed and breakfast. And the God family home is right next door. And that is actually a home that we also need to refurnish. I'm thinking to leave the structure and just completely try to change it but still make it look familiar that it is the god home or something like that but yeah that is definitely still uh, what we need to do for this neighborhood so what i am doing for the neighborhood is i am trying to make all the houses look kind of the same i want the same kind of vibe going through this little section of this world so we are going with traditional again on this side and i do have to say i do use a lot of packs for this build uh let me see <laughs> if i can uh grab the list and i can tell you guys what pack i'm using so i'm definitely using city living get together get to work parenthood vampire game pack dine out outdoor retreat um i'm also using the toddler stuff pack although i only use one item so if you don't have that pack it's okay, just download it and one pillow will be missing, but that's fine. Um, I'm also using, what is this pack? The Vintage Glamour, the Backyard Stuff, the Romantic Garden, the Movie Hangout Stuff. Although with the Movie Hangout Stuff, I only use one or two items as well, so not much. So if you are like, I don't have that pack, again, you can download it and replace those items. Um, using Cool Kitchen, I do don't remember using that though no I, I cannot remember that I used that so if there is an item in this home it will be one or two of the, that pack so uh, definitely not much and then perfect patio of course I always use perfect patio so those are all the packs for this home so not much no no not Mona not much. it's a lot <laughs> it's a lot oh my gosh what am I saying it's a lot but still I think this house looks really nice uh, with all those packs. And if you don't have those packs, I just built a base game home. Go, um, that is like the video before this one, but I will link it here up in the screen for you guys to find it. I've built a m modern contemporary base game family home for the people who don't have all these packs that I'm using. Um, so for the color of this house, we are going with gray and white again, because I just love the combination. For the uh, bed and breakfast uh, across the street, we were going with more red bricks and a combination of, I think white or gray ish i think more of a gray tone um so yeah this time i wanted to go with a different kind of color so we are going with white and uh dark brick colors and i think it looks really lovely i think the get together items really make this home look very unique it's a beautiful pack and if you don't have that expansion pack i can definitely recommend it it's my favorite expansion pack of all the expansions uh, thus far i mean pets is coming really really soon i'm so excited you guys it's like a month um, a little bit a uh, little more as a month before that pack comes out and i actually have taken some vacation days when that pack comes out so that i can really just work on getting some uh just some stuff out really i want to build of course some houses i want to play the game i want to do some let's plays i have so many ideas for when that pack comes out so yeah i saved up some vacation days and i'm gonna spend them there i know crazy but uh, i'm just so excited about that pack um so as you guys can see the house is taken shape i haven't talked much about the home but as you guys can see it's very no, not similar but it's in the same kind of vibe as the bed and breakfast but this house is a little bit smaller inside so we only have three bedrooms in this home um, a very small living room with a 
I did add in a children's play area in the living room, um, but there is no play area outside. This time I did not do a sandbox uh, for the children. There is no jungle gym. Um, there is a swimming pool and there is also some seating areas, but I really focused on this house more on um, the exterior of the home. So the shape, I wanted lots of detailing and I also focused a lot on landscaping. I really tried to make the landscaping look uh, a little bit classy, but still very full with flowers. Flowers was definitely something that I wanted a lot of. Um, so yeah, I, I think a lot of work goes into the landscaping and I really love the backyard. You guys saw it in the beginning in the overview of the video. I think the backyard looks really nice. I love the little stepping stones that I made and it's so very unique and I love it. So that's definitely my favorite part of this home, the backyard. And then if I needed to choose something on the inside, it's probably the kitchen um, because of the layout. I love that the kitchen has this little corner with a bar and then you have a dining table and then a large door opening up into a uh, into Mona, <laughs> into the garden. What am I doing here? I'm looking at the footage and I'm, I'm like, Mona, what are you doing? But yes, I did play around with fences. I forgot about it, but uh, yeah, I did play around with fencing, but I just found that this iron gate looked the best for this home. I do add in some hedges, I think, alternating hedges between these iron gates just to give it a little bit more detailing um but yeah we are going with an iron gate uh like the house across the street it just looks so nice and so very chic and posh you know this is like the nicer neighborhood so the people living here will have more fancier things than other neighborhoods i mean there will definitely be a neighborhood with some less expensive houses um but this neighborhood is not that <laughs> we are going all out and i think how much is this house let me see this house is uh 190 simoleons so it's not overly expensive i have done more expensive houses uh in the past <laughs> but for a three bedroom house this is quite expensive so your sims do need a little bit of cash to live here but if you are like me and you cheat in your money for your houses then it won't be a problem <laughs> so yeah so what am i doing here adding in uh the fencing for the flowers and i went with a iron small fence at the front i don't know it just looked so nice and it was again uh, something different than my normal fence that i usually do um and i think these flowers that i'm using they actually really fit in nicely in between those iron fences so yeah definitely happy with that um so yeah that is basically all i needed to say for this little section here so how are you guys doing by the way um it's friday here in belgium it's friday it's 6 p.m and i'm hoping that the uh ice cream man is not gonna drive by and at least not for another 15 minutes <laughs> till the end of the video usually he comes in between 6 p.m and 6 30. that's like his his hour that he drives through the the street <laughs> so i'm hoping that he's not coming today because that would be very annoying for the video um but today i actually just went to work and i sorted out all uh, my pictures because I went to Ikea last Wednesday and I picked up a few frames for uh, some photos that I had and I think it's all coming together really nicely and I'm actually starting a collage with random photos like random silly photos that I have laying around so you know th those photos that you won't frame as a single photo and put on your wall because they're like a little bit weird you're you're making silly faces so i'm what am i doing i'm collecting all those pictures and i'm gonna cut out 
like little pieces where you only see uh, the people. So me, my husband, you know, my family. I'm gonna cut that out, and I may I'm gonna make a little collage, put them all together in one large frame, and then I'm gonna hang it up in my house. And I think it's gonna look very lovely. It's like a, a little bit of a very personal touch because you can really see us as a family uh, as how silly we can get with each other and i i just love it and i usually always try to capture those moments oh my gosh that's my phone i'm so sorry i didn't turn it off but yeah i always try to capture those moments on camera but uh after that i don't know what to do with the pictures because they look a little bit weird and you're yeah you know you don't want to hang them on the wall so very excited about the collage that i'm making and that's basically what i have been focusing on this week i'm trying to focus on small little projects uh still don't I don't know, I don't really feel like doing large projects yet. Um, so doing little projects, especially with photos and stuff, is really healing for me this week. So I'm actually feeling much better than I did at the beginning of the week. But I'm not here, I'm not there yet, but we're getting there. Um, and tomorrow I'm visiting my mom and I'm so, so excited about that because I actually really missed her so much this week. Um, I mean, the, the last week and a half I've spent like every moment with her <laughs> and then being back home on my own only with my husband and my children it's really hard you know we don't have any support uh, support system here <laughs> i only have my husband and then next door my my mother-in-law but yeah you know how mother-in-laws can be they don't really give you the support you need so definitely excited to go home tomorrow to visit my mom and of course my two crazy sisters as well um so as you guys can see the garden is taking shape isn't it lovely i love the stepping stones with the swimming pool the little bit larger planter that i made there on the left with the small little tree i think it really looks nice everything fits in perfectly <laughs> although i was really anxious starting landscaping because i like oh my gosh mona how are you gonna do this i we are we're, we're gonna go into some free landscaping and you guys know i suck in free landscaping that's not my strong point although i do think i'm getting there it is looking better than it used to do um so what am i doing here oh you're adding in a uh bubble and steam grate great am i saying that correctly a bubble and steam tiley so that uh, you have a little bit more effect in the swimming pool and of course i needed some lighting very important and uh yeah um what i do off camera by the way i do illuminate the entire front and backyard i do that all off camera i also add in a little seating area on the back porch you know under the um overhanging roof uh, there in that little corner you can see it right there i add in like a, a table with two chairs some candles on the ground i do that all off camera i just forgot about that when i was building this and when i went into screenshots it just it felt empty and i was like okay mona we're missing something um so that's why i added in that off camera um so here uh, a little bit more landscaping and i think this is the final thing that we are gonna landscape and then we are gonna head inside the house um so yeah and for the interior by the way for the interior we are gonna go with uh traditional not overly traditional but traditional nonetheless um there is not much modern uh, objects inside the home maybe one or two um so everything is overly no, not overly it's just traditional in a normal way <laughs> i wished we had like cozy or comfy um furnishing i'm i'm definitely missing like missing a very cozy or comfortable couch you know a two-seater a three-seater or a corner couch would be lovely and just something very comfortable we have lots and lots of very gorgeous 
traditional looking items, very gorgeous and Victorian items, or some very modern couches. But we don't have any comfy couches, although I do think the Parenthood pack couches come close. But some of the recolors in that pack don't really fit my style and I wish it was more neutral. So not, not very traditional and not very modern, just a neutral style. I'm missing a neutral style couch set for this uh, for this um for this game so i'm hoping maybe with the uh, cats and dogs uh, game pack that is gonna come out that we will get new sofas i mean i think i saw a new sofa although i think it looked a little bit dirty that sofa which is normal i mean it's cats and dogs and cats and dogs will scratch your furnishing but i'm hoping that there are also normal recolors on that couch and maybe some more options of couches in general um so as you guys can see the kitchen is taking shape going with the parenthood stuff items um i just love those items they are so perfectly for a uh traditional home um and uh if you want to go for normal traditional and not like victorian over the top traditional um which i don't really like so i, I love this pack for these type of homes um so yeah almost finished here in the kitchen <laughs> i'm running out of words uh, i don't know if you guys notice um but yeah i do love the color combination i love the blue uh wooden uh, kitchen um how do you call those cabinets and then with the, the the flooring i really like the flooring as well and the flooring is all base game uh which i think is very lovely although maybe some more uh wooden floorings would be nice but still i'm very happy with the ones we have um so yeah these couches here they those are very comfy but the recolors uh especially of the pillows i mean why a blue and yellow pillow why not gray pillows or one tone of color pillows you know what i mean why do we need two different colored pillows it just throws off my color scheme sometimes you know um yeah so the recolors i think the sims team can definitely work on that maybe that we can recolor items separately so maybe we can recolor the sofa pillows and then the sofa itself separately that would be awesome although i don't think that's gonna be possible but i'm hoping that they are gonna add in something like that in the future um so here making a little play area for the children which is gonna disappear i'm gonna move that because i was not happy with that i'm gonna move that a little bit more to the right side into the uh, little nook that we have there uh, before you enter the office so yes there is a office so we have a office a living room with little play area there's a kitchen with dining there is a garage and there's also a bathroom downstairs and then upstairs we are gonna have three bedrooms one master bedroom one a toddler bedroom with a shared um, so two toddler beds so it's a shared toddler bedroom because there was so much space two toddlers were necessary this time and then there is one teen girls bedroom and the toddler's bedroom is also girls because i don't know <laughs> it just went very naturally <laughs> to make it a teen girls bedroom i'm so sorry um it's just because i only have girls that i always think of girls uh but for the next house i will definitely think about boys <laughs> a little bit more um so here playing around with the office and the office is so small that i could barely fit in everything that i wanted i do change out the bookcases those are massive <laughs> those are just too large so i do change them out with the i think the parenthood bookcases a little bit later on and i think that looks way better um so yeah that is basically all i'm doing here and i think we're gonna furnish the garage yeah so we're gonna furnish the garage next as you guys see the garage is very small 
you won't fit in a car here <laughs> it's too small for a car i mean it was a little bit larger but then if i would have kept it the original size i couldn't really fit in the living room like i wanted to and that's why i made made the garage smaller and it's not functional anyways um i always use my garages as storage like you guys saw added in some clutter items but you can store anything you want if you are like me and you don't like to keep things in your family inventory i hate doing that <laughs> sometimes my family inventory is just too full i forget about items because they are in yeah you know i never look there so i love placing those type of items you know the things you get as a reward for um for your career, you know, you get like some rewards, but you don't know what to do with them. I store them all in my garage. Uh, and I think it's nice because then I won't forget about it. And then sometimes I will use those items. So very handy. Um, so here started with furnishing the upstairs bathroom. And this house will have a total of three bathrooms. So there is one downstairs, there's one here, this is for the children, and there is one ensuite bathroom for mom and dad as well. Um, so yeah, enough bathrooms definitely for this house. And you can have up to five sims in here, but if you change out the double bed in the teen girl's bedroom and make it like two singles, you can have six sims here. I mean, you can even have eight. <laughs> you can do like three beds in one room and then three three beds in the other although i don't recommend it because children don't really like that too much i mean i don't know if i ever told you guys about that but my uh, sister she has four children and for one year <laughs> she had her four children living in one bedroom and it's i just i cannot recommend it because you can get fights it's like a war zone uh, and it was just because they were like in between homes the, the children now have all separate bedrooms but yeah for one year they needed to share and it was not a pretty picture you guys so don't make your sims share too much i mean two sim children that's fine a tree a little bit too much in my opinion <laughs> um so this is the teen girls bedroom and i'm going with more of a, a very light overtone uh, some blue hints some blue in the wallpaper i just went with light that was like my overall feeling that i wanted for this bedroom um so yeah that's why we are going with this color scheme so i added in a um uh, it's not a piano it's like an electrical piano <laughs> i don't know what it's called um because i knew i needed this sim to have like some kind of focus but you can always change that with like a guitar a violin a dj boot you can make her whatever you want i didn't really had any um storylines for this family yet i'm not in that mindset <laughs> at this point um so you can make whatever you want but for the the taller bedroom as i went with pink um say these orders i'm so sorry i should probably not build these things when she's around but it's so hard you know usually i'm working on these houses uh, when she comes home and then she really likes to sit here with me and eat her sandwich um maybe play some roblox she's really into roblox and into minecraft oh my gosh she just built a uh barbie mansion in minecraft and that girl is like five years old i was like oh my gosh you have your mommies <laughs> you're like your mommy but no i could not do those things when i was five but she really built a barbie mansion it didn't look like the actual barbie mansion uh, it was just a very 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 large home very pink with lots of bedrooms <laughs> but i could definitely see where she was coming from and i was so proud of her <laughs> um so yeah that is what she really likes to do when i'm building she's usually building um and it's like a little bonding thing and yes she will definitely influence the build what i'm working at and it's fine
it's a mommy mommy and daughter thing so i really like doing that um so we're in the final bedroom of the home and at the end of the video already so this is gonna be the master bedroom a uh, very spacious there's a little seating area there with a fireplace i do change out the colors as you guys can see we're gonna go with more of a gray tone i mean everything was very brown <laughs> in the first floor and it was a little bit of a brown kind of overload and we're going with gray for the master bedroom and i think it looks really nice i love the layout i love the little balcony that we have um so yeah, for the bedrooms, this is my favorite one, actually. <laughs> and the only reason why I really, really like this one is because I can definitely see myself using this bedroom. <laughs> so yeah, so now we are almost at the end of the video. I'm hoping that you guys enjoyed this just little voice over with me hanging out and talking about the build and sharing little snips of my life <laughs> so yeah so i'm hoping that you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to leave your likes at the bottom of the video very much appreciated if you guys did that and if this is the first video that you're seeing from me and you're still here at the very end don't forget to subscribe for another video of mine. And of course, hit the notification bell so that you would never, ever miss a video of mine. Oh my gosh, Mona. I know my talking is awful today. So yeah, okay, I, I, oh, guys, <laughs> I'm gonna leave you guys here. And I'm hoping that you all are having an awesome, awesome day wherever you are. And hopefully I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.